Hey guys, have you ever wondered how to find paradise type planets? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm about to tell you everything you need to know to find lush worlds in No Man's Sky. So the first thing you will need to know about Paradise Planets is that the word Paradise is just one of the descriptions for a world that falls under the category of a lush biome. Lush worlds are Paradise Worlds. So you need to be aware that there are actually 11 descriptions for a Paradise type planet, and they are Rainy, Nadant, Tropical, Viridescent, Paradise, Temperate, Humid, Overgrown, Flourishing, grassy and bountiful. Now while all of these worlds fall under the category of a lush biome and can be described as paradise worlds, they all have their own nuances that make them slightly different to each other. Generally their name is a dead giveaway as to what's different between them. So there are actually quite a few things that will affect your chances on finding a planet that you will find desirable. With Paradise or Lush type planets, being in the Eisentam galaxy will greatly increase the amount of Lush worlds in a system. But for all of my videos, they will always be done in the starter galaxy of the Euclid system. This is so if I find anything exceptionally special, it's really easy to share it with all of you guys too. You can check what galaxy you're in if you jump into the galaxy map and look up to the top left corner, it'll show you where you are. So how do we go about finding a particular planet? Well, the galaxy map provides you with all of the information that you're going to need. If we select the random system, we can see information about it on the right hand side of the dot on the map. We can see the system name, the region, the distance to the system, a bunch of letters and numbers, and that the system contains water. On top of all this, we can also see the race that controls the system and what the economy and conflict levels are like. So we need to be focusing on the bunch of random letters and numbers there. These are right next to the distance to the star in light years. Right off the bat, the very first letter will determine the spectral class of the system you have selected. Yellow systems are determined by an F or a G. Red uses K and M, green has E, and blue uses O and B. And lastly, white is determined by an A. After the initial letter, there will always be a number. This number is there to show you information on the overall temperature of the system. It's a little backwards, as you would expect 0 to be cold and 9 to be hot. But it's actually the complete opposite with zero regarding to planets as hot, scalding and fiery, while nine would mean a high likelihood of finding planets being icy, frozen or sub-zero. So as we are looking for lush worlds, we want this number to be roughly in the middle so that the system doesn't sway too far towards boiling or too far towards frozen worlds. It is worth noting that these are just guidelines and you can definitely find paradise planets in a low or high numbered system. But to give you the best chances, stick with something in the middle. Next up, after the number in the system code, a system can have a lowercase letter next to it. There are 11 different lowercase letters that can appear here, each with a different meaning. I'll throw up the descriptions on screen now. These are the oddities of a system. But for Paradise Planets, we want to be focusing on the number determining the temperature of the system mostly. If a system indicates it has water inside of it, 
This can also help to improve your chances of finding an idyllic planet that can be an Earth-like paradise planet. So to narrow down to exactly what kind of a system you need to be looking for, you want to look for a yellow star with a spectral class of F or G, followed by a mid-range number of 4 to 6. The lowercase letters do not matter for a paradise planet. And lastly, if you want water on your desired planet, the system code will also tell you if there's water present. So let's jump over to this system here. This is the Yashinov system. It has the code of F as its spectral class, 6 for its temperature, and P for its oddity, P being an unspecified peculiarity. It also has water in the system. So just a quick note, whenever I'm looking for a paradise type planet, I like to have the lowercase p in the code as well. As I've already stated, this doesn't affect lush worlds in any way, but the p stands for an unspecified peculiarity, and this is a really nice way to find exotic biomes that can be planets that are described as finned, hexagonal, or even bubbling to name a few. Okay, and we're in the Yashinov system of the Euclid galaxy. Um, nothing really sticks out of being paradise, so let's go ahead and scan this one here. <laughs> there you go, it's a paradise planet. Uh, Ajima 76 slash S3. Let's uh, go ahead and scan a couple other ones. We've got a radioactive planet. And a temperate planet. So we've got two paradise planets in the same system. And we also have a miasmatic planet. Should be two more. Oh, that's the paradise planet. Oh, here we go. Planet off in the distance is a dusty planet. And lastly, we have a finned planet. Okay, so we've got two paradise type or lush type worlds. And on top of that, we also have an exotic biome of a finned world. So, let's head off to the first one we found, uh, Ajima 76S3. It's, a, it's the one that's described as a paradise planet. We've got a star bulb, copper, paraffinium and sodium here. So entering its atmosphere we can see that there is a lot of water around and not that much land. So we'll find, try to find a, a rather large piece of land with a bit of greenery. Here we go down here. Oh, and we've got some lovely purple trees, along with some rather large looking mushrooms. Ajima 76, first contact, we have mild rain, intermittent sentinels, and copious amounts of flora and fauna. Just running around, we can see we have some dark green grass. Uh, the trees and everything meshes really nicely with the planet. Got some birds and stuff flying around. Looks like we've got like a, a bit of a mountainous volcano off in the distance as well. we'll go check out the birds. Got a couple of nice, um, nice starships in the system as well. Okay, so that's the birds in the system. Rather cool. We'll go check out this large mushroom here as well. So some pretty cool looking uh, flora. That's our very first paradise planet of this system. Let's jump back to our ship and head off to the next paradise planet that we found, the temperate planet. Okay, so we're going to be heading to the planet of Rebrina 9. It's a temperate planet with star bulb, copper, paraffinium, magnetized ferrite, and high sentinel activity. So straight off the bat, this wouldn't really be ideal for a base build because of the high sentinel activity, unfortunately. Um, major differences between this planet and the last is the lack of water. This planet has a lot less water than the paradise planet we were just on. And coming down, we've got a lot more greenery within the trees, but the grass is a lot more, a lot like a, a brownish red. 
So for the weather we have lethal humidity outbreaks. Um, Sentinels require obedience and the flora is high and fauna is full. Well, off in the distance we've got some rather large sort of oddly um, symmetrical mountainous figures. You can see they sort of pop up rather square with the ground. We have a look at some of the animals in the system. And we've got this uh, what do you say that that kind of looks like a tiger with a lizard's tail. Oh that guy looks pretty cool he's only got two legs. Oh, and as we can see off in the distance, someone's already calling this home. So another very cool uh, lush world or paradise type world. And lastly, we did actually find a finned planet in this system. So finned is an exotic biome. So let's go and check that out and uh, let's see what we can what we can find there. Okay, so we're going to be heading off to the planet of Machi 61 slash I4. It's a finned planet. It contains copper, gold, and salt. So coming down, it looks straight off the bat that uh, it's looks rather barren or dead. Oh, and off in the distance, we've got one of the rings that you'll come across when you do the uh, quest line for the living ships. So we'll pull up next to it and have a bit of a look around. There it is. It's one of the coolest uh, artifacts. Holy shit, there's two! Would you look at that? <laughs> there's two of them right next to each other. I haven't seen that before. That's pretty cool. But yeah, this is our finned world. Um, so when you come to an exotic biome, everything about the planet is going to take from its biome description. So this is a finned planet. As you can see, some butterflies and, and whatnot flying around they're gonna gonna be of like a, a, a finned type as you can see there they're flying around with sort of shells as wings but yeah this is just one of the many exotic biomes um, if you are lucky finding a bubbling exotic biome on a paradise type world is amazing once you find it, you'll always want more worlds just like that. So that concludes my guide on how to find paradise type planets in No Man's Sky. If you liked it, please leave a like down below. If you want more of this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much. My name's Spoon. See you next time.